subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Title, Exploring Flower, a comprehensive tutorial on monitoring and managing PyTorch training with Flower. Introduction Flower is an open source library that enables the distributed training of PyTorch models across multiple devices. It serves as a powerful tool for monitoring and managing PyTorch training processes in a decentralized manner. In this tutorial, we'll delve into the Flower Python documentation, exploring key concepts and providing code examples to help you integrate Flower into your PyTorch projects. Prerequisites Before you begin, make sure you have the following installed. You can install Flower using pip. Understanding Flower Concepts Flower introduces several important concepts to facilitate distributed training. Client, represents a PyTorch worker that participates in the distributed training process. Server, orchestrates the communication between clients and manages the training process. Round, a training iteration where each client trains its local model and sends updates to the server. Strategy, determines how clients are selected for each round and how their updates are aggregated. Now, let's dive into the practical aspect with code examples. Setting up a simple Flower server. Creating a PyTorch client. Connecting clients to the Flower server. Customizing the training process with strategies. Conclusion. In this tutorial, we explored the Flower Python documentation and learned the key concepts behind Flower for distributed PyTorch training. We covered setting up a simple Flower server, creating PyTorch clients, connecting clients to the server, and customizing the training process using strategies. Now you can integrate Flower into your PyTorch projects for efficient and scalable model training. For more details and advanced features, refer to the official Flower documentation, Flower documentation. ChatGPT